So it turns out that our audio didn't work during the first half of this video, so I'm going to try my hand at doing a voiceover. What we're doing today is we are going to make tie-dyed lab coats. Because Grace loves science, and she wants to be a scientist, but specifically, she wants to be a mad scientist. Possibly an evil mad scientist. Throw the third switch! So here we are now, tie-dyeing lab coats for every member of the family and an extra tie-dye t-shirt for Grace. The first thing that we have to do is use rubber bands and bunch the lab coats and t-shirts up together. Now, if you watched the bleach tie-dye video that we did, we tried to do the popular swirl pattern and I quickly discovered that it requires more skill than I have. I enjoy doing crafts, but I have very little skill when it comes to doing it. So mostly we just bunched it up and secured it with rubber bands so that it has a cool random pattern. Um, it's pretty easy to let the kids help, especially if you're doing kind of that scrunch pattern because there's no way to do it wrong. Uh, if they need a little help with their hands getting around it, that's really the only help that a kid will need for this project. Once you're done bunching them up and putting rubber bands around it, it's time to start squirting the dye on. We have these condiment bottles. They have two cups of hot water and two tablespoons of writ dye. What we did here was squirt the dye onto the lab coats in sections. So you'll do pink in one section, purple in one section. Um, try not to overlap the colors over each other too much because they can kind of get muddy that way. Uh, but just make sure you give it a good soak. Some people will make sure that the fabric is damp before they do it. Um, I forgot to do that. Again, like I said, very little skill. Um, and it didn't impact it at all. Once you've soaked one side of it, just flip it over and then you'll do the same thing on the second side. Again, just make sure you get it all over it. Um, if you need help, you know, helping your kids flip it over, that makes sense. And make sure you wear uh, gloves because there is a pretty good chance that you could get uh, dye on yourself. That's also why we're wearing dark colors here. Because when you are working with kids, there is always a good chance that they are going to accidentally squirt you with dye. Um, so again, it's always a risk. Uh, but just make sure that you put dye all over the fabric and then you are ready to move on to the next step. After you've totally soaked it, we left it sitting for about 30 minutes and then we moved on to the step of using the color fix. The color fixant is mixed with hot water and uh, squirted on with a spray bottle just like uh, the dye was. We let it sit overnight and then the next morning I gave everything a good rinse and then ran it through the washer and the dryer and then we were all ready to go. So, how do you think our lab coats came out, Grace? Very good, especially like how mine scattered in different places. Do you think you're ready to be a mad scientist now? Lies! Lies, do you hear me? Give my creation Lies! So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe. You can click over here to subscribe and we're gonna link some of our other craft videos and cooking videos over here. Thanks for watching. How did you do that? <laughs>